How's it going? Robbie coming back at you with some Google Form training. Oh, yeah, we're excited to do this. So I'm going to kind of go through the form, see what's on there, uh, kind of show you. It's pretty basic information, but I'm going to flow through it, kind of see what's so you can see what's on it, what, what we used at the beginning with collecting people's information and a little bit of how to customize this. So I'm going to do pretty basics with customizing it. But if you want, I would check out YouTube. There's a ton of stuff on there to YouTube of how to customize things with like Google Sheets, obviously, but this Google Forms as well. But I'm going to kind of go through some of this kind of basics of how to customize this because it's a really cool tool when you know how to use it. Uh, so starting out, customer information. So we have first name. We got uh, first name, last name. We have Facebook name, which is really important because sometimes we have different Facebook names than our, our, our actual names. Some people have. So when you're trying to contact them through Facebook, you don't know how to contact them if they only have their first and last name. So that was a big thing that we had a, a learning curve. We had to learn and kind of add in there. You obviously want their email address right here because you got to be able to send their invo invoices through PayPal to a certain email address. Um, so before getting in too far, something that if you want to, if you see right here, there's a little asterisk right here. And let's see if there's one right here as well. Oh, there should be one right here with Facebook if different. But what you can do is in here, here's a quick little customization is you can come in here and say required or not. So obviously we want to know their first name and last name and email address. We want to make sure that's required. That makes, you know, we've all filled out surveys before. So it's one of those things that, okay, you click the next button and they don't go to the next button until you, you fill out all the fields. That's, that's what that's doing. Okay. Next section is shipping address information. So pretty basic. We've all filled out shipping information, going through Amazon, shipping, uh, street address, city, state, zip. So here's one part. If you want to put this, you can, but we suggest you keep it in here. So this is talking about how the text notifications. So you might not have a text notification system now, but what happens if you do six months down the road? It's nice to collect their information now instead of having to go back to your customers and say, hey, can I get your phone number again? So it's just a good way to just say, hey, and you can rephrase this question. Just say, hey, you know what? I don't want, I don't like that they said it this way. I'm going to say something else, right? So you can come in here and you can customize this and just say, hey, you know what? Yes, please. No, thank you. Oh, let's just say I want to add in another. Why is this not adding me? Let me add in another one. Other option. Oh, is this not adding? Oh, there we go. You have to do add option. Sorry about that. Add option. What if I want to put in maybe? Okay. And so there's three options. That way, when you're going through the survey, they can put maybe. Oh, actually, I don't like that. I'm going to come over here and remove that part. Does that make sense? Or let's say I don't like that they said no, thank you, and I just want to put no. Go in there and customize it. This is yours. So again, oh, I didn't, I didn't say this. Go down to the bottom. Underneath the video, there's the link to be able to get your own copy, just like the, the Google Sheets that we've done before. Get your own copy and you can customize it yourself. That way you don't have to worry about asking or requesting for this. And, and then down here, you, if yes, please leave your cell number. Uh, the third section is the checkout time. So this is a, a good way to set boundaries with your customers. So what this is going over, I'll be ready to check out and pay within 24 or 48 hours if you want to put within a few days of invoice date. I understand if I have not made a payment within you know, 48 hours that my items will be for one week. You know, I know some people uh, uh, invoice once a week, but we like to invoice within a day or two because that's the excitement. You want to make sure you're getting the, that, that money back to you. Uh, that my items will be made available to other buyers just because there's, there's sometimes when, because we've been doing this for a while now that there's been some people that claimed a piece and they didn't check out and they didn't buy it for a week or two. Whereas other people wanted that piece. So you're basically like, like you're, you're holding this piece hostage and some people after two weeks, like, Oh, actually I didn't want that piece anymore when you could have sold it to somebody else. So this is just a good way to just set up boundaries with your customers that they're buying the pieces that they're actually claiming. Okay. And this last piece is for if people are interested in what you want to do and join your team. So it's a good way to say, Hey, you know what here, if you want to do what I'm doing, Here's a, a little graphic that we created. This is very generic that we did for you. If not, go to Canva, C-A-N-V-A dot com. It's a free graphic design tool. Very, very awesome. Very good tool that we even use today of how to, okay, what's some benefits of joining my team or doing what I do? Okay, so here's some things. And again, yet yeah, and questions down here. Yes, give me the details. Maybe, no, thank you. I'm happy being a customer. So you can go in here, like right here. We didn't put this as required. You don't have to. OK, so some things as you customize, I'm going to go in here and just kind of show you how to customize some of these things. Let's just say right here, I want to add in another question at this section. What you can do is come over here, add a question and OK, let's type out the question. Uh, 
What's your favorite, sorry, favorite, oh, wow, color? Okay, do this. Um, you can come down here and you can change the different types of answers. Okay, short answer, paragraph, multiple choice, check boxes, drop down, a file. If you want to, like, hey, show me, like, send me a, 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 your profile picture. You know, you can do whatever you want in here. And let's just say, okay, I want to do multiple choice. Okay, option one. Yes, just like up above. Okay, I'm going to come down here and click return. And sometimes they just automatically, they, they're guessing, they kind of know what you're going to do. Or you could just say, oh, it's, what's my favorite color? I obviously, I don't want a yes or a no there. I want a short answer and they can fill it in. So it's an open-ended question. So if you don't want that, you can remove it. Okay, and it's that easy. But let's just say that you removed a question and you didn't want to. Let's just say right here, you're in the email address and you you accidentally deleted that. Come back here and actually a good little thing, you click Control Z. It's kind of a, a back, kind of like the back, you know, you kind of go back up here and it will remove it back and put it back in there for you. So something else that's cool up here is kind of customize it. You can change the customized theme. Um, so right up here at the, at the top, the header, this is where the image is. So we just did a, a basic paparazzi independent consultant for you. You can change this to whatever you want. You can change the coloring. So that changed the coloring here and the background if you saw that. So you can kind of change that. You can change the, the, the font here. Look at that. That's pretty cool. So you can change the font however you want. Um, up here, this preview is what the customer looks like. Okay, so I, I went through and filled out this form. So this is why this looks like this, but obviously this will all be blank for them. You can go in through here so you can see what they're looking at, which is nice because a lot of people, you want to see what the customer's looking at. It's kind of like verifying what you created. And a lot of people will do it off their phone. So look at the link uh, on your phone to see what that looks like. Okay. Um, okay. I want to get the link to be able to send this to my customers. So I'm going to go in here, click the send button. I'm going to come over here to this little uh, attached icon. We don't want this big old link. So let's shorten it. And right there, click copy and it's copied there. You just right click and, and paste it wherever you want it. So a good uh, a good place to put this is in the posts. So my sister talked about that uh, yesterday about posting some of the items that you might have, uh, have, uh, have purchased through paparazzi. So put that in the description of your post. Say, hey, you guys, if you claim a piece of one of my items, please go in here and fill out your information so I know who to send an invoice to so you can buy it. Okay. Or your live. Obviously, you want to put this in every live or every post. Uh, album posts that you do. Okay. Um, over here, there's other little settings that you want to do that you can kind of put in here, like limit one to each response. If you want to put that or not edit after submitting, like you saw that you could edit it. So yeah, maybe you want that in there. Maybe you don't. Um, something else in here when you're creating a new Google form, which is kind of cool, you show the progress bar. So you people know like, okay, how many steps is in a survey? Because there's been a lot of times you create a survey and you're like 10 steps in like, okay, I'm done. I don't know how much further this is. Okay. So we added that in there for you. Um, other than that, uh, another cool part of this is figuring out, uh, getting information from people. Okay, let's say that there's 20 people that filled out your response, this 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 link. You can come in here and see who's filled out what. Okay, so I went in here and already did a little mock. First and last name, here's your Facebook name, here's the email address, and all this type of thing. When you come in here, when there's been a, a 20 people that come in here, there's going to be 20 responses under just this first question. Okay, so what I did is I came in here and I'm going to say, select a response destination, I can put all this information into a Google Sheet. It's really cool. So I'm gonna create a new spreadsheet. I've done this before, but I'm gonna just create it again so I can walk through the steps. I'm gonna click Create. And what happens is now you're gonna click up this tab up here. You're gonna come over here to these Google Apps, come over here to Google Sheets, find that. And it's gonna open up to a bunch of your Google Sheets that you have over here. And I've already created one just barely, but here's the one right here. And here's where all the information is going to be. It's really cool. Here's your address book. So you can go through, you're going to have like, let's say like 20 different people in here, their information, you can just find them and refer back to this customer, sorry, customer <laughs> info template uh, responses sheet whenever new people are, are filling out the form. So you don't have to keep uploading this. You don't have to like, it's not like a save. It just always updates. So this will automatically update when everybody fills out the form. You'll see the timestamp whenever somebody updates the form or, or fills out the form. So you can go through here and check out whatever information they filled out. And this is where, like, okay, like um, someone said, hey, you know what? Uh, yes, give me the details if someone wants to, if you're ready to check out and, uh, like, if someone's interested in your thing. So you got to make sure you come in here and contact them if they're interested in knowing more about your, uh, knowing about the product. 
uh, about the opportunity. So I kind of went into a lot of different things here with the, with the Google form, uh, some customization, kind of the form. So if you have any questions, reach out. We'd love to answer your questions and hopefully that helps and use it to your advantage. Use whatever you want or this for other people, uh, for other for your team or other customers down the road. And hopefully that was useful for you. Um, and in closing, remember, always love your life.